All right, students. Uh, this is the second video in our sort of short demonstration of uh, how to use lists or what lists can do for you um, in terms of Desmos and in terms of doing something creative and creating your own pictures. Uh, so the idea here is um, what we have here is just a what looks like it's sort of a parabola, but if we zoom in and zoom in, you'll realize these are all straight lines. Okay, so I did this with a create uh, basically creating a series of equations and once I realized what the how, what the pattern is I didn't have to do a whole lot of work okay and then if we can generalize that pattern we can make Desmos do all the work and I wouldn't even have to write um, all the equations so the idea was I typed or I typed one equation then copy and pasted it and adjusted the slopes to create this so let's walk through that the y-intercept here is 15 so the slope would be rise over run you would go down 15 and across one for the first one. So that's down 15 across one. So negative 15 over one. Then you go to 14 and go down 14 and across two. And then 13 and across three. And then 12 and across four. And so what I realized is you're just sliding this one down by one while this one's increasing by one. That's very repetitive. So in terms of the slope, uh, the first one's sort of 15 over one. Let's put the one there. So it's 15 over one. Then it's 14 over 2, then 13 over 3, and then 12 over 4, and then 11 over 5, and then 10 over 6, and da 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 So basically, the shortcut to that is start at 15 on the top and count down. Start at 1 on the, top, on the numerator, sorry, the denominator, and count upwards. So the numerator starts at 15 and counts down. Denominator starts at 1 and counts up. So why is that useful? Well, one, I, it took me not too long to do this because I just copy and pasted this thing and then just changed the numbers one by one. I could have done way less work than that. Here's what I could have done. And using lists, here's what we're, the goal we're going to try and uh, show you how to do. You can then take this and say, okay, let's create a list that starts at 15 and tell that list to count down by one and start this one at uh, one and then count upwards. So basically just choosing, to, um, you can do a single variable or two variables, there's a way to do that. Why would you even want to do that? Here's why. This one was actually created using just four equations, one equation for each quadrant, and then I told the, the computer, do this a hundred times. So believe it or not, if you zoom in, there are actually a hundred lines in here and it gets really, really cool. Um, and that can be created, again, with just four equations and telling the computer, oh, see, it, it, it's got so many lines it has a problem showing them all. Basically though, uh, you create the four equations once you know the pattern, create one equation for each quadrant and tell the list, tell the computer, go through this list and count through theirs. So that's what you can do. Um, I'm not telling you too much more than that because I want you to, as part of the project, sort of create that list on your own. So that's where we're heading with this and uh, have some fun with it, uh, play around, and send me questions if you get stuck. Thanks.